<laughs> it brought this far. What was the mess? What was the Bojangles? <laughs> yeah! It fucking was, wasn't it? <laughs> you idiot. Okay, we're turning off the music because this is gonna be some real fucking serious RP here. <laughs> I can look at the messages that is. So now we're doing Brayden, and it's gonna be the final stream as Brayden Godwin. I think I have a lot of things in mind for here. Uh, but we'll, we'll let most of these people carry it through RP, like they've done before. We did. We found his arm. That's right. So this is gonna be a heartbreaking stream. I already know it. Fuck, man, I really want, don't want to do this, but at the same time, I really do. I really want to be there and hear everyone's final thought. It's going to be... <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck me, man. I'm stuck. Ah, well, give it a second. I'm stuck. <laughs> I need to reach out to staff. Fuck, man. change over now yeah no I fixed it I think didn't have a shirt on well logically we would have this on people would dress us right I would think so Anyways, something I'm in the background. We're also starving, but we'll I'll be all right. I think the worst part about this is just waiting and waiting. Because it's two minutes before I'm meant to be here so they can do their preparations and so. <sighs> yeah, even doing this a week later, is, it's, it's, it's terrible. 
absolutely a travesty. into these guys in a week either. <sighs> oh, I'm already feeling it, man. I better take that fucking letter to Shit. I'm behind the wall here, man. step ticket. I'll, uh, I'll change the screens while we figure this out. I don't know who can do TPs. Fuck, man. I think they're responding to, thank God. Sorry, just give me a second. Okay, we're figuring it out. I'm just waiting for staff to handle it.
I have to figure this one out. This is the start. Now we fixed it. I'll have to re-log, I think. Now I'll have to re-log. Uh. Oh well. We'll be in soon anyways, I think. a little bit problem here and there. Okay, we'll be back in a second, I'm sure. Now oh, there's old habit of my cat attacking my feet.
she's still unable to pick me up. This is bullshit. Okay, we're having a little difficulty because nobody's able to pick me up. Yeah, for some reason he's too heavy for me. Just stick him on the back of my horse. Not sure why that happened. Okay. Actually, um... What? No, I think it'd be better if I have him ready in there. No, 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 honey, that's not what I was saying. I was saying, um, I was thinking about having everybody ride out together, but it might be better if he's already there. Well, I don't know. Maybe one last ride with his friends. That's true. Um, <laughs> I'll ride back yeah. and get him. Just wait at the edge of town. Hope already Tell everybody does. to saddle up a riding out. One last ride. Oh my god, that's so fucking sad. Yeah, I've already CK'd. Did you not see the perm I had? Do you know who's uh, who his pole bearers are? His what? His pole bearers. Uh. The people that carry him. Uh, no. It is more than likely going to be me and Max. Right. Get on the back of your Did... horse. Are they okay? What? I was asking, is that Miss Harper? Oh, yes, it's, it's Brayden. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> it's, my apologies. This is Brayden, yeah. I'm sorry. I was like, who, who needs my assistance? No, get everybody to saddle up, and uh, no, I'll lead it. I changed title. I know where we're going. Did I? Okay. I did change title. Um, right? just help me, uh, essentially cattle drive, keep everybody behind for one last ride. Mm -hmm. Right. up front. Um, if you can, Lance, can you have uh, everybody double up so there's not as many horses and not uh, a lot of dust? Oh, yeah, 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 true that. We'll, we'll do that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, um, no, come on, it's fine. Should I scream for help? Uh, 
I grabbed a few extra uh, chairs and a barrel that I had and a canopy in case of the weather changes for us. Thank you. You're welcome. That's very thoughtful. You know, um, make sure make sure everyone is doubled up to um. Yeah, they're I want, I want, the wagon. I want everybody to ride out together for one last ride. Um, I will lead, um, since I know where we're going, and um, yeah. Just uh, I want everybody to double up so there's not as much dust. I know it gets really dusty over there. Who's that guy? When the wind picks there. up. Yeah. The know that guy. Yeah, the wagon out for the help. Yes, yeah, the same I, I do. What the hell? Oh, I think I know who it is. It's handsome. Like, are, are we riding now? It seems like only a few people listen. Yeah, they're getting uh, a wagon. If you want to go double check, though. The hardest thing in Armadillo to do is get everyone to ride out when they say they're going to ride out. Ain't not a damn soul in this town coordinated. I was going to say that. That's right. That's I think that's everybody here will be. Say. Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> hmm. Go see. I don't think there's going to be any surprises. I think it's just going to be people from Armadillo, and I think that's great. That's 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 what I want. And even if there is more people from at other places, that's fine. God damn. Accident behind Arpa. Pardon? Accident behind. Got. Probably a bit close to the wagon. Oh, looks like everything's oh, alright. Going off road a little bit. Got to follow the ridge.
The wagon route, yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know how to get there on the wagon route. That's all right. Oh, there goes the wagon. These motherfuckers don't know how to drive a wagon? They probably hit a rock. I ain't got I ain't got a lie, I was waiting to see this. Howdy Lance. Howdy. Jesus. My goodness. Everybody double up on the horses, let's go, come on. Aw, Lance is here even. Oh, it's it's really fucking sad. Can the wagon go over this bridge? Yeah, it'll be alright. We don't have a wagon anymore. And I'm glad they're just chatting. That oh, makes me happy. It. That makes me really happy. Jesus, horse, please. I'm scared of a goddamn rock. Seems all horses don't like rocks for some damn reason. Aw, oh, Jason's here too. How nice. This is really nice. Sorry, rocks. Oh, well. Can you hitch your oh. horse over here? Come use them. Yeah, should we hitch our horses a bit further away? Yeah, everybody hitch your horses a little bit further away. I was just trying to get, um, close because. Gotcha. Semi far away. Maximo! Yeah. So nice. Start. Hey, get off my back to see. Somebody find Maximo for me, please. He might be on the wagon. All right, who needs me? Harper does. Hey, Where are you at? Over. You know there's a thousand trees, right? Son of a bitch. Max! I'm coming, I'm coming. I'd like you to have the honors, brother. Okay. Pastor's on his way, so should be here soon. Oh, they got a pastor! Oh my god. Fuck him. Uh, come on, amigo. One last ride, eh? Oh. Couple bottles, I got it. Pardon, pardon. Excuse me, excuse me. Buried right here. All right. We need somebody to dig a hole. Not yet. That will happen after the service. Um, okay. I'm going to lay him down here gently. Me and you. Um, I I don't want to ask anybody else. Um, that's fine. 
I think me and you can knock out a hole, right? I'm still a little fucked up right now, but yeah, I can try. That's okay, I can ask somebody yeah. else. Yeah. Um, Jacob? Yeah. Would you, um, after the service, when it comes uh, time, yeah. you help me dig? Oof. Oof. Yeah. Thank you, brother. There you go, hermano. Um, <laughs> we <laughs> are is. waiting sure for is. the, uh, the pastor to come along this way. Um, yeah, you're so until then... Don't um, you. Yeah. Um, there will be, if you find, uh, Mr. Jason, Shit. everybody gets, uh, one bottle of Godson Gin. Oh, um, that sucks. Okay. I'm right here. <laughs> yep. Mr. Mr. Jason has a bottle of Godson Gin for everybody. Um, whether you keep it or you drink it, um, that is entirely up to you. Ooh. <laughs> I don't doubt it. There was a lot of people at uh, Lou's funeral, though, to be fair. I don't think it's by much, but yeah, I think she got me beaten. <laughs> Not by much. There's a lot of people in the background there, too. And some people over here. You might help me out. I'm uh, having a hard time placing some things. I'm gonna hand them to you. Right. Set it up pretty interesting. <laughs> but to be fair, the entire Lin family were at the loose uh, funeral, too. A lot of them didn't even know her. But I guess that counts through here because there's a lot of faces I uh, I struggle on recognizing. I'm sure I know them. Uh, look at that! Is that Arden <laughs> trying? No one told me about the funeral. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that for you right now. There you go.
There you go. I can speak. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> My pa hates you, man. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of people who weren't told, I think. That's fine, though. Oh, it's Tom. Of course it is. I'm realizing. Excuse me. Oh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll move. Torch. I'll move. <laughs> Yep. 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 Sure. Wait, is somebody speaking? I got no idea if they are. Malik. <laughs> Amen. 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 What? I didn't hear it. Well, y'all know who I am. Uh, Brayden was... Yes. He was a bit of a pain in the ass for most of us and knew him. And you know it. We all loved him. Especially for the way he was. 
my first real encounter with Braden was uh, kind of a tale that's been told multiple times by myself, many a time with Braden at the saloon. Yeah, I just got robbed. I was pissed off. I ran into the saloon, pretty much shot it out. Braden didn't even hesitate, jumped over the saloon bar, ran out with me. We chased these, uh, this group right. out to Blackwater. That's right. Like idiots, we confronted them. Didn't even go any way we had hoped it would probably go, but uh, we almost got arrested that day. Some of y'all here were there with us. And uh, from that day on, Brayden and I were inseparable. I call him my brother. I always have and I always will up to this point. He's not the brother that I was born with. He's the one I was chosen that was chosen for me. I'm gonna miss him more than anything else in this world, and just want to say thank you for everybody showing up here. And uh, anybody else would like to come up here and pay the respects, to uh, please do so. Many of you know, I'm Jolene. I'm Brayden's sister. I've been with him for I've been with him for five years, and he has been through a lot of shit with me. But he was always there, and it's gonna be really hard. Not having him next to me through this shit. Uh, we we bantered a lot. A lot of us we were known as as sister and brother, even though we were only chosen sister and brother. He felt like a blood brother to me. I still remember the first day that I met him. I will always honor that memory of him in my mind. Sadly, he can he didn't make it to the wedding that me and Jacob are gonna hold. I was gonna have him walk me up the aisle. But when Christmas ran around, he gave me he gave me a garnet which I'm going to incorporate into the wedding ring. So he's always with me. I have one memory. Brayden and I, we had a staple back in the day. He made me, uh, he made me part owner of the stable. We bickered like children as always. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and as soon as he learned how to spin his gun, <laughs> that's all he did. Spin that thing like his life depended on it. <laughs> A lot of us is probably going to remember that. <laughs> it's lovely to see how many people have shown up for him. How many lives he's touched. How much he has accomplished. I'm sad to see him go. He will always live on in my heart and I will see him soon. Hey, uh, bear with me. This is my first speech I've given in New Austin at a funeral for somebody I actually knew. 
Um, <laughs> my first time meeting Braden involved me handing him 300 glass bottles I found in the middle of the desert. Cleaned That's them up, right. Uh, That's tortured right. them, handed it to him just a small amount at a time. That's right. Made him carry them all the way to the bank. <laughs> um, a few of you may not know this. He's either a good liar or he was the worst employee at the telegram office in Armadillo. <laughs> I had countless telegrams I could not I could not get delivered. Um, come to find out, he was pocketing the money <laughs> and burning most of it in the wood stove there in the telegram office. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm that not too really... upset about it. It was it was well worth it. It was a lot of fun harassing <laughs> him about it. I do believe one of my telegrams I gave him, he handed it to the second person he saw, somebody <laughs> named Lola. I don't even know who the, who Lola is. <laughs> but uh, again, I didn't know him as well as most of you all. Um, right, that's terrible. I'm sorry liar. for your loss, and I I hope his memory lives on in all of you. Howdy, everybody. Um, everybody, I think, knows me here, but if you don't, my name is Harper. Um, I am the owner of the saloon down at Armadillo, and as a lot of you know, Brayden worked there for quite some time. And Brayden was one million percent my most favorite person to... <laughs> to harass all day that's true. me and him would bicker back and forth like like for hours on end <laughs> over true. stupid things and it was it was nice and that is something that i'm going to miss i remember um there's one time brayden and i and i think it was two others one of the best days i remember brayden is when uh you know me everybody knows me i'm a little bit of a fiery lady and there was one day where the people at the Strawberry Saloon came down to Armadillo and plastered all of their posters all over my saloon. I'm, a com I'm, I'm competitive. And, and as we all know, Brayden, Brayden was too. Brayden was a little bit competitive. And uh, me and Brayden dressed up like fucking pirates. <laughs> and I, I had everything down to the beard. I, I had one of them straw beards that I pulled up and... We rode out to Strawberry with posters from all over the county, including about a hundred of my own from my saloon, and we plastered the shit out of that wall in the uh. saloon, all over the front of their front of their business. And we rode back like nothing happened, but both of us were sitting there smiling and and laughing on the whole way home, pretending like we definitely did not just do that. Brayden was. One of the funnest people I have gotten the honor to know. I mean, he was willing to stick his neck out for just about anybody that he cared about. He right. was a kind soul, but boy, was he stubborn. He was a stubborn man, and I hope you can hear me right now, Braden, because good lord. Yeah, he was. I, uh, I got the honor of taking care of Braden in his last days, myself and Max. Um, who I would like to thank as well. Thank you, Max. Um, Maximo and I spent a long time taking care of Brayden in his final days. He stayed up in, in my saloon in one of the rooms, and I forced him so many doctor's appointments, it was sickening. Um, and forced food down his face, even though he didn't want it. Like I said stubborn man but god was he he was something else he's a very unique person and you'll never find anybody like him i hope to god that brayden rests with the most luxurious life up in the clouds or wherever he might have gone and i want you all to remember that no matter where you go that he will always be with you Thank you. Amen. Oh. Whew. 
Ooh, okay. Colt. Well, I didn't know what I was going to say here to be, but um, me and Brayden didn't always see eye to eye on things. We rarely did, but regardless of that, if I hadn't met him and if he hadn't taken a chance on me and brought me into his family here, then I wouldn't have the pleasure and the privilege to know many of you fine folk gathered here today, as well as people that I would call family. I left a lot of things unsaid for Raiden and I. And unfortunately, that regret shall now stay with me for the rest of my days, but I'll always be thankful for him. For him taking the chance on me and to get to know all of you and folk. That's all. Oh shit. <sighs> I can't hear this guy. Is that the pastor? Might be. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm crying a little. It's very sad. I've had this character now for sort of... Uh, uh, two to three, three years now. It's I've been role-playing against Brayden. So, yeah, it, it's very hard. Three to four, but okay. Shit, you're probably right about that, to be fair. Ah, oh, that's a down over there. Thank you everyone for showing up, uh, but in typical New Austin fashion, I'm going to go ahead and give Braden a good old send off. So whatever you got, make sure nobody's angry. We don't want anybody getting hit. Aim them up. This one's for you, brother. We'll see you in the next life. I miss you, hermano, eh? You stay safe. I save me a spot up there, yeah? Love you, brother. Love you too, man.
Um, if anybody would like to uh, line up and um, pay their respects before the body is buried, um, please do. Now would be that time. Thank you. Corn saw me walk over. Ooh. Say what you gotta say. Say something. Thank you for the memories and your joyous personality, brother. May you rest in peace. Thank you, Lance. Love you, pal. Love you too, man. Uncle. Howdy. I'm sorry, I was late. I'm so sorry. I miss you. Make sail for the dawn. Feel the darkness. It's gone. Thanks for looking at the clouds and the stars with me. I'll always do it just to remember you. Aww. Rest in peace. Jacob is there, I can't hear him. He did so much good for you and for this world. And he wouldn't have had it any other way, you know that. Now it's up to you to carry on his legacy. Everything that was and is Braden Godwin lives on in you. Adios, brother. I know. Damn you, Braden. You're carrying his name. From here. You only would have just waited a little bit longer. Yeah. I always remember you call me fucking Willa. <laughs> little shit. <laughs> that was a little shit. One last time, buddy. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> damn right you will. That's damn right. Well, I'm going to miss you, brother. Thank you for the family you've given me. Thank you for the memories you've given me. 
I know sometimes it looked like I took that for granted, but I really didn't. I'm glad you're not hurting anymore. I'll come visit you every day, I promise. I, I'm so glad I got to take a hug from you. And we got some makeup before you went. I, I can't imagine if we didn't before you left us. This world. I, I hope you're spinning your gun at people up there. I'm probably scared to see them, Jim. Giving them hell. Yeah, I'm probably already in hell. I love you. Me too. Please save me a spot. Did you already get a bottle? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. It means a lot to us. on the other side.
I love you, buddy. I love you, too. I'm so grateful for you, more than you know. Uh... I will see you... <laughs> when, uh... Hell yeah. When I die. But you better be waiting for me. Damn right. <sighs> the rest of the evening there. Hell fucking yeah. I wouldn't think I'd be the one uh, talking to you like this. I'm really gonna miss your stories. I'm really gonna miss you showing up at the blacksmith. Rest well. Gonna miss you too, blue one. I got chaps on. <laughs> are you, are you okay? No, no, near for long. Mm -hmm. I shall know you for longer. I'm gonna do it. Trying to remember the laughs. Mm. Right, right. I'll see you soon. That better be Koei. That better be Koei. raffle still very nice follow the song it will be what you need to do oh that's really yeah. nice either way I don't even know what to say. I wanted to say something up stage, but I wanted this just to be for you and no one else. Raiden, you were the best thing that ever happened in my life. I had nothing left. I had no one. You and Dawn. You and Dawn took me in. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Sorry. Just... You saved me from a really bleak outcome. I had no, uh, no other option but to try and hunt down my uncle's killers. And yet, meeting a man like you taught me. Revenge isn't always the answer to things. I don't think you realize, Brayden, but you taught me more than most people in my life. People would teach me how to walk and talk and how to talk properly. 
how to fish. One thing you told me is the people around you matter more than your own your own words, your own thoughts, your own wishes. Revenge can destroy people. You hurt everyone around you. Right. After George. The last thing you told me. You were crying on the porch out in Armadillo. I recall. I just I think that was the moment it hit me. Just found uh, I guess we all agree to kill that bottle of gin to his honors right now. I'm sorry, uh... I'm sorry I didn't meet yeah. you sooner in life. You're an amazing dad. I want to give you something. Sister Jean, it's a boy, Jay Feather. Jean. That day that I fell and I met you. Uh, yeah, I'm I, good. Uh, Sorry. Hey, uh. Yeah, anybody who hasn't got a bottle of gin, come see me. I'm sorry, people are talking. <laughs> Fuck, him, me off. Fuck him. Here. And I fell and I got trapped under my horse. After the cougar attacked me. I thought I was going to die out there, but that blue jay feather landed next to me. Uh, you too. I tried to reach it. I realized there was enough room for me to get out. Slow down. I'm here. So it's my lucky blue jay feather. We got to kill a bottle of gin, though. It's silly, but it's something. No, it's not silly. You rest easy and I'll come visit you. Uh, I love you, Dad. I love you. <laughs> Till next time. You need a bottle? Which cool weed was there? No. Just making sure everybody's got at least one. Ah, oh, that's nice one. Being buried right here. Yep. Right. Oh, my God, is that Eddie?
Just in peace. Dead. That was really nice. Max, stand by. Hmm? Stand by. Okay. I'm gonna need your help lifting. Yeah. Hey, Eddie. Hey. Alright. We're Daniel, good. You were on, uh... Alright. You were on Braden's will, so... Am I... If you, uh... Yeah, If I you have any questions, just talk to Tom Smith, alright? He's got all the information on that. Yeah, I don't care about the will right now. I know. I know, but... <laughs> yeah. He is on Braden's will. Alright. Us four? Yep. yep. I'll take this side. Oh. I'll get his head. You ready? Yep. Max? Yeah. I'm One, ready. two, three. There we go. Oh, okay. All right, and lower. Three. Yeah. Two, one. Oh, okay. All right. Con Dios, hermano. My brother. Okay. Rest in peace indeed.
Ooh. Let's see what Eddie got to say. I'm gonna see you soon, brother. May La Santa Muerte take care of you. That's always how it starts. Who's there? Shay, you come and get him. Love you too, man. Yeah. <laughs> this was oh. quite the character. Just give me just a second. Okay. You can definitely say there's going to be an appreciation post after this. the chance. Never forget what you did for me. You did so much more than anybody could. <laughs> what a good man you were. And well, may you let me keep going. Even despite you not being here, rest well, my friend. You deserve it. You've been deserving of a good rest for a long time. Right.
Oh, is he gonna do his own? This is the first navy that you gave me, Brayden. Oh, fuck. Still have it in our Modelo bank. Oh, man. I'm gonna bury it with you. Oh, man. Oh. Need help up? It up when I see you. Oh, I'm sorry, Lance. It was in my head there for a uh, Hop on, Shane. Anybody? Uh, everybody else? Uh, we have some space. No one needs a ride. Me, me and Julian are alright. Anybody else coming with us? Or Come on, Rene. You got some words. I know you do. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Rene, the grave is dug already. It was a nice pop. <laughs> My hand would be sticking out of the grave. It was fine. She'll be back with her own words. It's fine. Ooh. Nah. Fucking the chaps too, man.
handle very well. I'm not. I'm not as strong as mom. I'm a day away from quitting. I can't. I can't. I can't do this anymore, Eddie. I can't. I'm not strong enough. Oh shit. I'm gonna be okay, son. <laughs> Every time I think of you, it just hurts. I know it's gonna hurt for a while, but it's gonna be okay, I promise you. Fuck you, man. We have to fix flowers at your goddamn funeral. I'm gonna make them look, re look real fucking pretty. You better duel them goddamn angels. See you someday. This wasn't easy.
It won't. But... It was probably the... One of the single most best characters I've ever done. Yes, Brayden. If you would have the amount of people... No, I was here the entire time, watching everything. This is one of the... Most fun characters I've ever done. I think, I think, uh... I think Harper said it very well. It was one of the most fun characters I've ever done. And, um... Uh, one of the most, uh... Crazy? I want to say crazy. Crazy, uh, interactive, uh, <laughs> stupidest at the same time as being pretty clever. He was a lot. Brandon. He's a character now that has Valk pointed out I've done for three to four years now. And, uh, I really do feel that this was, uh, really, really well done character. I thought it was a good ending to everything. Just sitting down, looking up at the sky and, you know, passing on as nothing happened. Resting. Something my character never did. He would always be somewhere. And, uh... I'll absolutely still be playing on ranch, doing characters... <laughs> and <laughs> doing characters that are similar, but very different. I'm not quitting ranch, as a lot of people ask me. No, that's not happening. I'm, um... I'm gonna keep streaming. I'm gonna keep displaying the stories I do because I really enjoy the stories I do. I really enjoy the story I did with Brayden too. And, um... As it goes for every character you ever have, you eventually have to... Quit doing that character. And I couldn't have asked for a better ending to this character than I got. <laughs> I don't... I think there's very few um, in server that Brayden has not had some knowledge of or some interaction with. I'm sure there's, you know, like, hundreds, don't get me wrong, but... Brayden was the type of guy who interacted with almost anybody. Dep no depending on who they were. He didn't care. I love you. Yeah, I love you too, Dawn. Always will. Over here. I never said it enough. Always will love you, Dawn. No matter what. No matter. Or 
your family to me. Every lip, every smile. We might be of you. I know you have my mom. Hey, George. You know, me and Lou always got along. I know. You'll bring a smile to their faces now. She was one of the best sisters I ever had. Lou. I've said so many goodbyes. And, uh... Not I don't ever want to say them again. But I will. It's really you like you were my own, right? Goodbye. Cool. And you always will be. Well, you knew that. Everyone knew that. Even George. Come on. You knew that. And he always will be, my kid. And with that, it's uh, story so far. Ren. And uh, all these people here will uh, continue on in his footsteps to some sense. And with that, we are writing. Uh, oh, that's a hard one. You know, there's two streamers right here. That's the thing. Well, we will support the smaller streamer. Oh, is that you? Sound like somebody. Did I hear somebody? I swear I did. I'll stick around a little longer. Yeah. That's how we're ending it. That's how we were calling Brayden's Godwin's fucking journey through hell and back. And I'll uh, see you on the next character. Okay, bye.